I wanted to create a pedal powered generator so I picked up a uh, Delco alternator, not a generator, but an alternator at a garage sale, a working alternator at a real good price at a yard sale. Then I got a hold of an exercise bike for free. This is a life cycle uh, fitness bike of some sort. Uh, but when I took the cover off, to hook up the alternator, this is what I found. This particular exercise bike already had an alternator hooked up to it. Apparently, with the uh, wiring it had, uh, it used to have a six volt battery that sat right there to provide the initial um, power to the alternator to make it a generator um, so that the alternator didn't have to have any magnets inside of it. Uh, however, the uh, when these 6-volt batteries go dead, apparently these exercise bikes get thrown away. The idea with the alternator is that depending on the settings on the control panel, uh, this the uh, more voltage was supplied to the alternator, and as more voltage was supplied to the alternator, it made the bike uh, harder to pump, and uh, that is how changed the settings for how hard um, uh, to pedal the system was. So the first thing I did was rip off all the electronics. I have no idea what all that stuff does. And I hooked up the alternator to supply its own electricity um, by wiring it uh, the uh, voltage directly to the exciter side of the alternator so that it would supply its own voltage. The problem with that is it was supplying about uh, 36 to 42 volts and at that voltage it was like pedaling a bike straight up a cliff. It was almost impossible to pedal at all. So the first thing I had to do was purchase a voltage regulator from eBay. I think it was nine or ten dollars and step down the voltage that was being supplied back to the generator uh, down to six volts. With uh, that running at six volts, I found that the gen or the alternator would supply uh, 15 um, volts, uh, 17 volts, right in that range, and it was very easy to pedal, which is exactly what I wanted. Now you still have to supply initially some voltage to the exciter to get it to uh, the alternator to turn into a generator. I still had to supply six volts somehow. So this is what I did. Up here where the control panel used to be, I mounted a small generator that supplies uh, 12 volts. Actually, it's a little hand crank generator. I've got it wired into the system below so that the initial six volts or 12 volts uh, will be supplied by this little generator on the ha on the uh, control panel. Let me give you an idea of how this works. So that the control panel, so that the generator is the hand generator is not supplying uh, voltage all the time. I actually hooked it up to a uh, button. So by pushing this button and cranking this, it'll get the whole system going. So now what I've done is I've pushed the button, turned the generator for a little while while I'm pedaling the bike. Uh, that was enough to get it the alternator excited enough to uh, turn into a generator and now you can see see if I can depending on how fast I pedal it's rather easy to pedal it's playing 16 17 15 volts right in that range uh, anything 15 to 17 is exactly what you need for recharging a uh, deep cell battery car battery golf cart battery but any 12 volt battery Now if I stop pedaling, of course the whole thing goes dead. So I really like this uh, setup. It was rather easy to do since I didn't have to mess with the uh, setting up the uh, drive system for the alternator. It came with its own alternator. I'll have to get rid of my old alternator. Don't need it anymore. And so far so good. Use 
to hook up to my batteries. It's the same connectors I use on all of my solar projects. These are MC4 connectors. Make sure you don't uh, mess up the polarity and everything. So if you ever get a chance to snag one of these life cycle exercise bikes, uh, do so. Uh, makes for a quick and easy uh, pedal power generator system.